Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I've titled this the Lumpy Bumpy Blanket. <laughs> it's really soft. It really is soft. But look at this. It looks like all these little lumps and bumps on this blanket. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy. It's really nice and light as well. It's a nice light blanket. Now it has a little bit of a stretch to it as well. So it's perfect for your car seats. It's, you can make this big and leave it in the car. It's a lovely blanket for a car blanket as well. This is a beautiful colour. It's, uh, it's great for guys. <laughs> Everyone's always asking for stitches and blankets that you can actually make for men. I know a lot of people don't like to do all that gender thing, but there are a lot of people that still say, my husband wants a blanket, but he doesn't want a fancy blanket. He wants just something that's, that's nice, or my son wants a blanket for the car or for taking out in a picnic and, or anything like that. Now, this is a really nice stitch. You can do it in any colour, so you can do it for babies, you can do it for adults, teenagers, uh, your granddad, your granny, you can do it for anybody. The one thing I'm going to do, show you with this, is you need to have a kind of stretchy chain. I'm going to show you how to do this with, oops, that's the top, here's the bottom. You need to have a kind of stretch in this sort of chain. When you do this stitch, it's half treble, UK half treble crochets. And if you're in the USA, that's half double crochets. The way you do it, if you don't do this kind of stretchy chain, it will definitely go like that. It will pull in so tight along the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to do this little bit of a stretchy chain to avoid it going in. I did try a bigger hook for my foundation chain and it still went in. So I've found a little way to do a little bit of a stretch in your foundation chain and it keeps it nice and straight like that. If you see that. You can make this any size you like. Any number of stitches. Any number of stitches. This is a beautiful yarn. This yarn that I'm using is a Stylecraft Special. It's a double knitting yarn and it's a beautiful colour. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Comes in lots of different colours. So that's Style, Stylecraft Special and it's a double knitting yarn. It's 100% acrylic. If you are in the USA or the countries that like to do it by the metre, it's 295 metres and that's 322 yards a ball. It's a 100 gram ball. It tells you to use a 4 millimetre crochet hook, but I'm not going to use a 4 millimetre. I'm going to use a 5.5 millimetre crochet hook just to open this pattern up. And this is the yarn I'm going to show you. I've got this amount left on my ball. Now look at all of this. I've got all of this done with that one ball. It's a really nice, nice stitch. So a lot of people have been asking me, can you please give your blanket a name? So I'm calling this the Lumpy Bumpy Blanket. <laughs> when you've got so many videos on, I think it is a good idea to just to give them a name. So people can go looking for the one that they want to do. So we're calling this a lumpy, bumpy blanket, but it's really soft and it's really pretty. You do it in any yarn and do it in any colour you like. To do this little blanket, you can use any amount of stitches, any amount of stitches that you want. Just do your chain to the length that you want your blanket to be. Now we're going to chain one. I'm going to show you how to do this stretchy foundation chain. Chain one. Now what I want you to do is spin your crochet hook like that and then chain one. Spin your crochet hook and chain one. Now give your crochet hook a twist. You're going to just twist it around like that. So it puts a twist into that yarn. Chain one. Then Twist your hook, it puts a twist in the yarn there, 
and chain one. Twist, chain one. So you're just twisting your hook around like that and it'll put a twist in there. And then do your chain one. Now it won't unravel. Now you will find that all your stitches are there. They're all in there. Twist. Chain one. Twist. Chain one. Twist. Chain one. Twist. And chain one. So just twist your hook around. Put a twist in the yarn there. It gives you that little bit more yarn in your foundation chain. Now you can see the bumpy bits on here. These are your stitches. You've got little bumpy bits each way along. So just twist and chain one. Twist, chain one as many times as you want. Twist, chain one. Twist it and then chain one. So it puts a little twist in between each stitch. And you can see your stitches. Those bumpy parts, like I said already, are your stitches. So twist and chain one. Twist and chain one. And it doesn't matter what colour of yarn you use. It's still going to be a little bit difficult to see on the video. But you can see it with your eyes when you do this. If you just try a piece of yarn. So you've got your first stitch there. There's a little twist and then your stitch and you've got a little twist. So twist your yarn and do your chain. Twist your hook rather and do your chain. Twist. Twist. And that is going to give you, look at this, it's going to give you a nice little stretch in your foundation chain and it will help when we do this stitch so it won't go around now it looks quite small but it will stretch out and you can see your stitches in there there's your stitches you can see those little long stitches in there once you've done this a couple of times you'll you'll see where they are so just practice it to begin with twist chain twist make a chain twist your hook make a chain now all i'm doing is just twisting my hook around and it'll twist the yarn around at the bottom of the hook there and twist make your chain twist and make your chain so this is big enough for my sample you're going to go into the third chain from the hook so count one two and three so go into that stitch, put your yarn over and into that stitch and pull through. Put your yarn over again and go into the next stitch. So you've got your little twist there and go into the next stitch. Once you've got this foundation row, it's a lot easier once you've got it done and pull through. Yarn over and pull through all of those stitches. So the stitch that you were just in, go in there again. So yarn over, go in there again and pull through. Then go in, yarn over and into the next stitch. Just go in to the next stitch. Push through and pull. So you've got one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. And what it does is it makes these little bumps. Once you get along a bit, you'll see it a bit better. So yarn over your hook. Go into the same stitch you've just used. Into the same stitch and pull through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. Pull through. So 
So you've got five loops on your hook. One, two, three, four and five. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Yarn over and into the same stitch again. Pull through. Yarn over and into the next stitch in your chain. And pull through. Yarn over and through all the five loops. Yarn over and use that stitch again, the same stitch, and then go to the next stitch. Do your yarn over and into the next stitch and pull through. Yarn over into the same stitch, go through, yarn over and into the next stitch and pull through. And you're going to do that all the way to the end. So make sure you go through all those loops, yarn over, and you can see your little bumps starting to show up when you stretch that out. And I've got my five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Now you're going to chain two. One, two and turn your work around. Now you can see all those little bumps a little bit clearer. It's going to be much clearer now because you can see your stitches much better. But look at that chain. That chain has got that little bit of stretch on it and it's not pulled it away in like that. If you don't do that little twist in your chain, this stitch will really pull in your foundation chain like that and it'll be very tight on the bottom. So what you're going to do now is you can clearly see all your stitches running along the top. What we're going to do now is we're going into the very bottom of that chain of two. So yarn over and go into that very first stitch. Right at the bottom of the chain of two. Yarn over and go into your next stitch. Now these stitches are quite big so you can see them quite clearly. They're quite large. So into the next stitch. Pull your yarn through and you've got your five loops. Yarn over and pull through. Now you're going back into that big stitch there. Yarn over into that stitch. You've got three loops. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. And pull through. And that is all you do. Yarn over back into that stitch. Yarn over into the next stitch and pull through. Yarn over and come through all of those loops. And that's what makes your little lumpy bumpy blank. <laughs> it really is a bit lumpy bumpy. Now the light's going in and out a little bit because it's actually really cloudy here. We've not had much rain the whole summer here in Scotland. So it gets a little bit dark, then it goes bright again. You think it's going to to rain, but it doesn't. So yarn over into the next, the same stitch as that last one. Pull through. Yarn over and into the next stitch, into the top of the next stitch. It's quite a big stitch, so you can't miss it. Yarn over, pull through all of those loops. And you'll work your way along like that. Just remember to use that stitch twice. Yarn over then into the next stitch. Pull through. Yarn over into that same stitch as before. Yarn over. Remember your yarn over and then into the next stitch. And you're going to work your way along. And this is what it looks like. Now a lot of people avoid doing tutorials on stitches that you can't really see, especially at the beginning. But you will see your stitches. You will see them in that foundation chain when you do it. Just practice it a little bit, doing that twist. 
and then you'll see your stitch is a little bit bigger than the twist in between. But this is really worthwhile doing. Look at this. Remember at the beginning to go in to the bottom of that chain of two. So I'll work my way along, go into that stitch again. And it's really easy and it's quite quick. Once you get the hang of this, you're going to love it. You're going to do it in all different colours and all different types of yarn. You can even use up all your scrap yarn doing this stitch. So this is the little chain that we skipped at the beginning. I'm going in to that stitch again to do my half treble and then just go in to that loop, pull through, yarn over and pull through. Now you're going to chain two, one and two and turn. Now you're going right into that stitch that's there. You've done your one, two chain. And you're going right into the bottom of that two chain. Don't go into that first stitch or you'll end up with less stitches. Make sure you go into that bottom of that chain. So yarn over and go in to that stitch right there at the beginning and pull through. Yarn over, then go into the next stitch, the top of the next stitch, and pull through. Yarn over and through all of those loops. And again, you're going back into that stitch. So into the same stitch, yarn over. So yarn over and back into that same stitch you've just used. Yarn over and into the next stitch. So you've got your two half trebles on your hook. So yarn over and come through them all. And that is what it does. When you get to the end, you'll use your last stitch and then just go into the top of that cluster. Chain two and turn. And you'll do the same thing at the end here. And look at this. You do get a nice straight edge on this blanket. I wouldn't do anything to the edge. It's still nice and lumpy bumpy like the rest of the blanket. And it's really pretty and you can really see those little lumps and bumps. It's called two half trebles together. And if you're in the USA it's two half doubles together. And it makes that lovely little cluster. So on this blanket I get my yarn sorted. On my bigger one, using my same hook, and I've done my chain of two and I'm going to turn my yarn, turn my blanket around. So again, I'm going to go in to the bottom of that chain of two and pull through. Yarn over and into the next stitch. So I've got my five loops. And pull through all of those. You're going into that stitch again. So yarn over. And it becomes really quick to do. Once you get the hang of this, it is really quick. Just make sure you go into that stitch twice. Yarn over and into the next stitch. Yarn over through your five loops. Yarn over and into that same stitch again. So one of the stitches you're using it, you're using them all twice really. So yarn over, back into that same stitch, yarn over and into the next one. Don't worry about it going a little wide. Once you've got a few more, I'll make my stitch a bit bigger. Once you've got a few more rows done, it sorts itself out and look at that it is really really pretty it's a really pretty little blanket so give it a try remember that little twist if you don't do that little twist it really will be very tight along the bottom 
So try that little twist and you will see where your stitches are once you work your way along your foundation. So the two things to remember is when you do your chain of two, remember and go into the bottom of the chain for your first stitch. If you don't, your blanket will go in like that. And you don't want that. You want it nice and straight. So make sure you go into the chain of two. When you work your way along to the end, you'll just go in through the top of that cluster. For your last stitch, chain two and turn. Give it a try. Just rewind the video back and watch it again if you have to and you'll get this beautiful lumpy bumpy blanket so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my channel and if you click on the bell icon then youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial it is free to subscribe to the channel and there's lots and lots there's there's hundreds of videos on my channel some of them are craft videos and a lot of them are crochet lots of different types of blankets so until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.